This video is brought to you by ShapeLab. In Ready Player One, the sci-fi adventure movie based on the 2011 novel of the same name by Ernest Cline, the filmmakers used a combination of motion capture, green screen and VR technology to create a dystopian future where most of humanity spend their time in a virtual reality world called the Oasis. But the interesting thing is, the movie used VR extensively for creating the Oasis environment and characters. First of all, the actors wore motion capture suits during filming, which allowed their movements to be captured and translated into the virtual world using CGI characters to create believable movements and expressions. But the movie also used VR headsets and controllers to create the virtual environment. The VR technology allowed them to create intricate and detailed environments, such as the race track and the final battle scenes, but that would have been difficult or impossible to achieve with traditional VFX, at least without having the same experience. So the question is, why VR was used in Ready Player One instead of relying completely on traditional methods in a very big project like this one? and how VR plays a role in fields that use 3D modeling and animation like VFX and game development. But most importantly, is VR now becoming the next big thing? The first attempts at creating virtual reality were made in the 1950s and the 1960s. However, the technology was not advanced enough to create truly immersive experiences Nonetheless, it kept growing slowly until the 90s when VR began to be used in gaming and entertainment especially. Companies like Sega and Nintendo released VR gaming systems, but they were not very successful to say the least. But recently, in the early 2010s, with the advancement of modern hardware, the development of modern VR headsets such as the Oculus Rift, a high quality affordable HDM or head mounted display sparked renewed interest in VR. So today, VR is used in a variety of industries including gaming, VFX, architectural visualization and more. For example, VR technology is enabling filmmakers and VFX artists to create more realistic and immersive special effects. By using VR headsets and 360 degree cameras, filmmakers can capture real world environments and integrate them seamlessly with CGI which helps create more immersive experiences like the Oasis from Ready Player One. Also, after its first failed attempts, VR is revolutionizing the gaming industry by allowing players to fully immerse themselves in a virtual world. Game developers can create more realistic and detailed environments and players can interact with these environments in new and exciting ways. One good example would be Half-Life Alex, which is a first-person virtual reality shooter game developed by Valve Corporation and released in 2020. It was set between the events of Half-Life and Half-Life 2, and features the player taking on the role of Alex Vance, a key character from the Half-Life series. One of the features that stand out in the game is its immersive and interactive world, which allows players to interact with the environment and manipulate objects using the VR controllers. If anything, this shows how important VR is because this was Valve's first big game in many years. VR technology is also transforming many industries like Arcviz, education, military and defense, just to name a few. One of the most important aspects of VR is 3D modeling. Generally speaking, VR 3D modeling is a process of creating 3D models in a VR environment. In this process, you will wear a VR headset and use handheld controllers or other input devices to create, manipulate, and modify 3D models in a virtual environment. The VR environment provides a more immersive and intuitive experience compared to traditional 3D modeling software. With VR modeling, you can create 3D models with greater ease and speed compared to what you might expect because you can manipulate objects with your hand and move around in the virtual space to view the model from different angles. Right now, 3D modeling on a flat screen is still the dominant way to create 3D models, but VR offers several advantages over traditional 3D modeling tools. Some of the advantages include the immersive experience, because VR allows users to fully immerse themselves in the 3D world providing a more realistic and intuitive way to explore and interact with 3D models, which is great. Also, VR allows designers to make changes to their designs in real time, while experiencing what it should be like from the perspective of someone 
going through what they have to create, allowing them to iterate and refine their ideas quickly. Gravity Sketch and ShapeLab are some of the most popular software used for VR modeling. VR can be extremely useful in many fields, and for 3D modeling specifically, it can be integrated into the design workflow to increase productivity, and it provides lifelike environments and interactions where you can scale your models to life size. 3D navigation can be quicker and easier in VR, as you can block out shapes much faster due to the freedom of movement. In VR, you can easily zoom in and out and move around the scene, which is amazing. Also, you can rotate your hand instead of the whole model and create complex scenes with a single brush stroke. To experience this, we got you guys one of the best software in the field, and it is called ShapeLab, which is our sponsor for today's video. Generally speaking, it is a highly efficient 3D sculpting application optimized for VR devices. ShapeLab offers many features and advantages for creating high quality 3D models in VR. It is fast, reliable, intuitive, and most importantly, it has a powerful poly mesh based design engine, which means you can reach higher polygon numbers with lower system requirements than similar applications. ShapeLab supports traditional professional design workflows and allows you to achieve more detailed objects than you would in many other VR 3D modeling tools. Additionally, you have many tools for more control over your model's topology. You can use dynamic topology made for real-time tessellation of the mesh based on the level of detail needed locally. You also have options for global mesh manipulation. Also, ShapeLab offers rapid VR sculpting and high performance with all the industry-grade tools that you will need such as vortex painting, stamping and boolean operations, and most importantly, sculpting tools to enable you to make well-detailed 3D assets. And the good thing is, you can export your models to edit them in other 3D software or for 3D printing, as it supports multiple file formats like FBX, OBJ, STL, and GBL. As of recently, you can also generate and export PBR texture maps. One of the things that I like most about the software is the intuitive interface and the many options of materials and environments. Overall, ShapeLab is amazing and it allows you to easily create organic shapes from simple forms to complex designs. It is unique among VR creative tools in having a polygon mesh based engine instead of a vortex based one, and it has a feature set that can provide users of different backgrounds with tools to create 3D assets effectively. So make sure to check out ShapeLab with the link in the description and let us know what you think. Just to be clear, Traditionally, the 3D modeling process entails using software to produce a digital model of an item or scene. But as technology has advanced, VR could one day fundamentally change how we approach 3D, and 3D modeling specifically. So basically using a VR headset, in addition to the controllers, users can physically move around the objects, grab them and pull them, and make changes in real time, making the VR method more intuitive and immersive for the creation of 3D models, but most importantly, at least for me, it is more fun, which is a nice way to still work on your projects without being bored. I mean like, just imagine having the freedom to easily move around your models and having a great view of every detail about it, and having the ability to manipulate and adjust everything about it. That just looks too good to be real for me just a few years ago, and to be honest, I think this is gonna be a game changer. So what about you guys? What do you think about this? And what do you think about the future of 3D modeling with VR? Also, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.